Coming up on Red Hawk News, the Performing Arts Program put on their annual musical. Fashion show is coming up. And the math department is gearing up for Pi Day. Red Hawk News starts now. Coming to you from Red Hawk Studios at the Atlantic County Institute of Technology, this is Red Hawk News. Welcome to today's episode of Red Hawk News, the most trusted source for all things ACIT. I'm Gabriella Verwet. And I'm Katie Lumena. From February 28th to March 2nd, the students of ACIT's Performing Arts Program put on a spectacular musical performance. This year, they brought to life the classic comedy 9 to 5, which was originally based on a movie starring the legendary Dolly Parton. The Performing Arts Program at ACIT presented their annual musical to a crowd of adoring fans. The choice for this year was 9 to 5, a show based on the comedy film starring Dolly Parton in 1980. 9 to 5 follows the story of three office workers who have had enough of the sexist practices surrounding them. These hardworking ladies imagine how they would get revenge on their boss during a night of partying together, which leads to a sudden kidnapping. The show was an imaginative throwback to the 1970s with various costumes and settings that evoked the time. Members of Performing Arts and the stage crew rehearsed for several weeks to prepare the best show possible, including working extended hours after school and collaborating with a live orchestra to create a professional theater atmosphere. There will be more opportunities to see members of the Performing Arts program before the end of the year, including the upcoming vocal showcase in April and the spring concert series in May. Check out ACITech.org for more details. Congratulations to the cast and the crew of 9 to 5 for four amazing performances. For Red Hawk News, I'm Marco Soto. You did a great job, Katie. Great job to the cast and crew for putting on another amazing show. Friday, March 8th, the freshmen had a very informative and important assembly. ACIT invited a prosecutor from Atlantic County to go over how important it is to make decisions as you never know what consequences could follow. On Friday, March 8th, the class of 2027 attended an assembly that was meant to make a lifelong impact on students. Atlantic County Prosecutor William E. Reynolds shared three stories with the freshmen that are timeless tales. Unfortunately, each of these tales has a tragic conclusion. When students are told that one poor decision can derail your life, many of them will disregard the warning and state, that'll never happen to me. Prosecutor Reynolds told the story of three athletes whose quest for sporting immortality was cut short by their poor decisions. He started with Len Bias, a basketball player who was drafted number two in the 1986 NBA draft. Bias had better prospects and expectations than Michael Jordan coming out of college but he died two days after he was drafted due to cardiac arrest caused by cocaine that was provided during his celebratory party. He then turned to Pelly Lindbergh, a tragic incident that has hung over the Philadelphia Flyers organization for over 40 years. Lindbergh was a world-class goaltender who just signed the largest contract ever for a Swedish-born NHL player. A few days later, he was declared brain dead when he drove his Porsche into an elementary school wall after drinking with his teammates. Finally, he referenced Aaron Hernandez and his inability to leave gang life behind. Hernandez was a national champion football player in college and a member of the 2012 New England Patriots team that played in Super Bowl 46. Hernandez was convicted of first-degree murder in 2015 after posting a photo of himself brandishing a gun on social media. This led to a detailed investigation. Hernandez committed suicide in prison shortly after his sentencing. Although he focused on three well-known cases of athletes, he related the alcohol and drug-related tragedies with the simplicity of posting an image online while performing a questionable act or being associated with questionable friends. The message was simple. Think before you act or post because the world is always watching. For Red Hawk News, I'm Brian LaCivita. Juniors, don't forget to register for the SAT and ACT. The dates are coming up. For the May 4th SAT, the registration deadline is April 19th, and for the June 1st SAT, the registration deadline is May 16th. For the June 8th ACT, the registration deadline is May 3rd, and for the July 13th ACT, the registration deadline is June 7th. Students who are eligible to have the SAT and ACT fees waived must complete the form in your College Board account. If you need assistance, please contact your guidance counselor. We will be right back after this quick break. The fashion design program at ACIT is hosting its annual fashion show very soon. 
It is a great opportunity to support your peers and see their latest and greatest looks. The show is on March 22nd at 6 p.m. and the tickets are just $3. You can buy them online or at the door. Don't miss out. Welcome back to Red Hawk News. Pi Day may have just passed, but ACIT has plans to celebrate in the festivities. On Wednesday, March 27th, the math department will be hosting various games and activities in honor of Pi. There will be food and snacks available for purchase, so bring a few bucks with you. On March 9th, 10th, and 11th, the annual Project Palm was hosted. It allowed for the community to give back and for students to find their dress of choice for prom. There were a lot of gorgeous dresses. I hope everyone was able to find a dress. Last weekend, Elena County's Project Prom opened their doors for hundreds of teens to pick out a free prom dress and invent accessories that go along with it. The line of people attending this event was wrapped around the building before the doors opened at 10 a.m., which shows just how much this event is helping high school students. Each girl was assigned a dress shopping helper who assisted them in finding their perfect dress, trying options on, and helping them decide which dress to take home. These helpers were local volunteers who dedicated their weekends to helping teens have the perfect dress shopping experience. Before the event, the organization received thousands of donated dresses by the Lannan County community. The free shoes, fake lashes, and jewelry were laid out for the attendants to pick from as well. As a student who went to the event for Red Hawk News and to pick out a dress, I was lucky enough to experience this beautiful organization and how it worked for students. Every person there left with a huge smile on their face and a free dress in their hands. The atmosphere was positive and excitement filled through every step of the process, and you could hear the attendants constantly complimenting and supporting one another. Founder Irene Kate has immensely helped and grown positivity in her community with this project, and as a mother from the event said, we cannot thank her enough. This event is truly amazing. ACIT student Layla Miller, who attended Project Prom, says, Dresses and accessories that you have to wear at prom are very expensive for most people. Not everyone has the time to go to a fancy dress shop to find a nice dress to wear, so it's great that it's in a local area and is open to everyone so they can look good for free. If you have a prom dress sitting in your closet, please consider donating it for Project Prom's 2025 event to contribute to positivity in your community and to help make prom accessible for everyone. From Red Hawk News, I'm Maya Hayden. Red Hawk News wants to acknowledge the monthly winners for character counts for February. The word of the month for February was responsibility. For ninth grade, Christian Cortez Martinez. For 10th grade, Kassad Deans, for 11th grade, Alexander Demos, and for 12th grade, Mason Flagg. Each month, students can nominate a peer for character counts. The winners from the senior class will be in the running to win a character count scholarship at the end of the year. Each of the winners also received a Wawa gift card. Congratulations from everyone at Red Hawk Media. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow Red Hawk Media on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to receive the latest news from ACIT. Also, discover more about ACIT on our digital publication, The Pursuit. For the crew and staff of Red Hawk News, we'll see you next time, and remember, pursue what you love.